It's uh, no accident that we've been the world's most successful truck company for so long. We've built more than 32 million, or 33 million F-Series. And we listen very careful to our customers. Well, 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 February 2008 has come and gone. One really big event in the Chicagoland area during February is the Chicago Auto Show. You know, I remember literally growing up with the auto show as a kid pretty much through the entire 1980s, often with all three of my grandparents. The Chicago Auto Show can be a thrill for a kid or kid of all ages. Every year at McCormick Place in downtown Chicago, the Chicago Auto Show comes to town. Yes, Mike Kara Presents finally had the chance to invade the Chicago Auto Show and get a behind the scenes look at all the new cars and concept cars being unveiled. This is that big chance for many automobile manufacturers to feature their latest and greatest, including concept cars, cars that are not on the market yet, but are premiered here and letting the public see them right here and now. There was some great interactive activities at the auto show, including riding in a Dodge Ram Power Wagon on a test track. I had the chance to ride in this awesome vehicle. The ride may seem a little bumpy, but hey, that isn't too bad considering this vehicle was driving over steel high beams. This was a special course designed to show what the Dodge Ram Power Wagon could do, and man, it could do some serious stuff. A vehicle like this could run over Superman. Maybe, but you never know. Also, I had the chance to drive the State Farm Racing Car. This is an interactive experience where you actually are driving a race car on a track. You have a video screen and virtually drive around the racetrack. The car actually moves based on how you drive the car. It's weird because unlike a video game, the car actually moves according to the video screen. Again, awesome. Again, all major car manufacturers were holding press conferences and presentations for the media to show what their cars can really do. High-ranking executives of some of the biggest automobile makers in the world were on hand to speak on behalf of their shiny brand new cars as well as their concept cars. And that's right, we're here at the 2008 Chicago Auto Show. That's right, Mike Karen presents has invaded the auto show we're here live in downtown chicago at mccormick place and i'm in my car that's right this is the one for me a brand new 2008 dodge viper i mean this this is this is some car nice bright blue car i don't think my pass though i don't think this media pass allows me to take this car and drive this car right home because this is a beautiful car Almost got a speedometer of 220. Can't test it here, but uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. First year for Mike Kara Presents at the Chicago Auto Show, so a lot of fun, so stay with us. I have the pleasure of speaking with Mr. Jim Bunnell, General Manager of Buick Pontiac GMC Division. He tells us about a few of their cars on display, including several concept cars. And tell us a little bit about uh, your part in the auto show and this car here, I guess, is it one of your pride and joys? Yeah, it's the Denali XT concept vehicle, and at this point, it's a concept um, done in, in collaboration with GM Holden, who's our partner in, uh, in Australia, uh, built off a modified architecture, but um, it really takes a pickup into a whole new world if you will it's a lower cow height you know overall lower height um, has all the attributes of a pickup with the uh, mid gate uh, but it takes it into a direction where it's more stylish um, you know it'll skew younger um, and you know we think it's an exciting concept plus hybrid so you've got the two-mode two hybrid and it's the 85 
and uh, direct injection. So we've got everything under the hood in this guy, and uh, you know we think it's an exciting concept. Ryan, and how much like gas mileage do you get on a car like this with the hybrid in general, or this one? Well, generally speaking, in the city, about a 50% improvement over other products in the market today. So if you look at a Ridgeline, I want to say it's about 17 in the city, so you're going to be talking 25 to 30 you know, in that range. Now, you know, we haven't done any actual tests, but pretty good directional uh, number. King, and finally, you have some other cars that you're premiering here as well? This is the Sierra, or the uh, two-mode hybrid on our full-size pit pickup, and we'll have this in the marketplace in the fall. Uh, it takes the popular two-mode hybrid, which is currently available on the Yukon, and, ex and it extends it to the Sierra pickup. So again, about a 40% improvement in city fuel economy. Um, you know, based on the early reaction on the uh, Yukon, we think it's going to be a smash hit. And here I am in the H2 Hummer. I'm going to drive this car through the Hondas and Suzukis and everything and crush them like little girly man. That's right. But seriously, this is a beautiful brand new Hummer. The Hummer 2 and a beautiful car here. A little, little bigger than I'm used to, but hey, I'll give it a whirl. Where's the key? So please, stay with us. Well, we're back and we're now at the Army exhibit. Very interesting exhibit and a lot of things going on. First of all, I'm with... Major Conway from the United States Army. And... Specialist Mahill from the U.S. Army. And uh, first of all, we want to talk about uh, the, the things you've got going on here. Uh, tell us about your part in this auto show. Yes, sir. sir. We're here to uh, provide the uh, residents of Chicago and the surrounding suburbs the opportunity to uh, meet soldiers and also to view some of the latest technology that the Army has to offer. Right. And now we see this vehicle, and I understand you could tell us a little bit about that. And I understand that you've actually driven in one of these, and can you tell us about, about this vehicle here? Well, sir, this is uh, what we would call a striker, and it's used for carrying uh, troops, and it's also used as a reconnaissance vehicle. There's uh, eight different types of variations of this vehicle for the military, such as medical vehicles or MBC, which means like uh, nuclear, biological, and chemical attacks. And uh, the capabilities is more firepower than the Humvee, and more, let's say, more comfortability too. For the troops. Right, and as we know that today and the next day are the media day, but in a few days you're going to have the general public here. And What can the public expect? They're going to have a chance to get into these vehicles and look at these vehicles? You know what, uh, definitely, sir. We have uh, representatives for each one of these assets on hand, and they'll be able to field all your questions. Uh, some of the current assets that we have, we have, as you just seen, the Striker, but we also have the Bradley. We have the International Truck MXT, and we also have a Rockwall, the NASCAR Show Car, and the uh, NASCAR Race Car as well. Okay, I'm back, and I'm now with uh, Luis Gastel Torres from the United States Army. And tell us about this particular vehicle. Now, this is used in Iraq, then? Uh, that's, uh, yes, sir. We use it right now in Iraq. It's uh, comeback effective right now. And tell us a little bit about, now, how fast can this, this vehicle travel when you're in the desert? Well, around 50, and uh, you can get it to 60, but 50, I would say. Right, and now you have a lot of artillery, and you, now you have, like, grenades on this one. I know you did on the other one, but you have grenades in that? Uh, we got a tow missile and 25 millimeter gun and 7.62 uh, round on this one. For more information the Chicago Auto Show, please take note of your screen.